Hi there, uh, this video is about SAP sales order billing tab at header. Uh, so let's get into this video. So that is a SAP easy access menu screen where we log into SAP. We see the screen and we have up here T code bar. We can enter sales order T code VA01. Press enter and order type is OR standard order and sales area is already defaulted that's been used from last transaction uh, if i press space bar i will get the last use entry so i'm gonna do this to save some time and if i press enter all the other fields are populated so in order to go to the sales order header i can click on go to on top and click on header and click on shipping uh, actually billing tab up here so and here we can see that uh, the most important uh, partner function for the billing is pair and that is coming up on top so uh, in quote term is coming cfr which is defaulting from um, customer master and also payment term is also defaulting from so it's copying the information from business partner information and and, and putting it at uh, sales order header tab uh, sales order header billing document tab so uh, billing block uh, that is uh, uh, we can add this in there invoice date uh, so invoice date is different uh, calendars are available that we can use so that is also defined that uh, that uh, what dates our customer is asking for bill to be created um, and um, let me just start over this one more sec three more sections important up here one is uh, terms of delivery and payment billing section and also risk management so these are the main areas in the billing document um, and uh, in the billing we can see there's a billing block invoice date billing date um, is, is actually proposing that uh, when we enter the order and uh, service render date is basically for text calculation that what date uh, text should be calculated uh, text uh, department country uh, de text department country and uh, also we have indicator for text indicator so what is that is we can see that if it is this order is a uh, tax exempt or liable for taxes we can select that and also it copied from uh, customer master as well uh, risk management so payment guarantee process are defaulting from um, customer master and uh, these are the relevant fields uh, not all the fields are used in uh, every sales order scenario and uh, in every company so maybe some fields are more relevant to you so this button up here this check mark is for manual invoice maintenance so if we check this so it means that we are telling system to uh, we are maintaining uh, outputs for this uh, order manually for the billing uh, That's it for this video. Please leave uh, leave a comment give a feedback Let us know the, how you like to see more videos and what do you want to learn about? Thank you very much for watching this video